what's going on guys so I'm just gonna be straight up with you today I'm gonna be showing you how you can play a PS4 game like spider-man on your Xbox one and no this is not a fake video this is not one of those videos where I'm gonna paste in PS4 gameplay while I'm messing with the Xbox one it's this is real I'm gonna show you how to play a PS4 game on your Xbox one um, so I'm gonna show you all the steps how you do it it's pretty easy um, so let me go ahead and just tell you what materials you need um, so first of all you're obviously going to need an Xbox One. Um, so I have an Xbox One X here. It doesn't matter what kind of Xbox One you have though. It can be the original, the S, anything. Um, and then you need an Xbox One uh, controller. Uh, and then you need a PS4. Um, so I have the PS4 Pro, but it can be any kind of PS4. The old one, um, PS4 Pro, PS4 Slim, anything. And then you need a PS4 controller that works with your PS4. And then you also, this is not last but not least, you obviously need a PS4 game. And you know this is a PS4 game because this is Spider-Man, and Spider-Man is only on the PS4. They don't even have it for Xbox, which is, you know, unfortunate for Xbox users. But that's just the way it is. Um, so those are, the, those are the only things you need. Two controllers, two consoles, and your game. So let's go ahead and get into the steps of basically how you do this. So it's pretty straightforward to start off with. You got your consoles. Um, both have power plugged into them, so your power is plugged in here, your power is plugged in here on your PS4. Um, so you got your Xbox, your HDMI cable is plugged into your Xbox, and the other end is plugged into your TV. And so here, this next step is where it gets a little bit different. So you got your PS4 um, right here, you got one end of an HDMI cable plugged in here, and now you take the other end of that HDMI cable and plug it into the the next HDMI plug on your Xbox One. So you can't really see it because it's kind of dark in my my picture, but basically if you go start from the right of the Xbox One, you have a power plug, an HDMI cable, um, or HDMI plug that goes to your TV, and the next HDMI plug goes to your PS4. So it's kind of like a little loop. Um, so this is, this is how you set it up. Let's go ahead and turn on the Xbox now because this is going to be like this is going to be where all the magic happens. Without this Xbox One here, the magic's not happening. So it's going to be a minute while the Xbox One boots up because it's, it's kind of slow when it boots up, unfortunately. I think it's a little bit slower than the PS4. 2,000 years later. So five years later, the Xbox One is finally booted up. Um, and basically what you're going to want here is you're going to want your Xbox on, obviously, your Xbox controller on, and you're going to want this app called One Guide. So I'm not sure if it actually comes with the uh, console or not, um, but basically, um, if it if it did come with your console, you'll find it under apps, and you'll just scroll down and click on One Guide. Um, if it doesn't come with the console, then you can just download it from the Microsoft Store. Pretty straightforward. Um, so next thing you're gonna do is launch One Guide. So you've got One I One Guide open now. Uh, it's gonna say your TV signal is lost if you don't have anything plugged into the the HDMI port. Um, but basically, now here's where the magic happens. So you know how we had the PlayStation HDMI cord plugged into the Xbox One cord. Um, now we're going to turn on our PS4. Come on, there we go. So the PS4 is turning on, and just wait for it. Come on, any day now. And there it is. So there's your PS4. It's on your Xbox One. Um, see if you cl click the guide, it still pops up. Now is, isn't that the weirdest sight you've ever seen? You see the Xbox One guide over here, but you see the PlayStation in the background. Um, so basically, I've got my PS4 on. I've got, I can put my game in, into the PS4, and I'm now basically playing PS4 on the Xbox One. It's playing through the Xbox One pretty much. Um, so it's pretty sweet, you know, as you can see, I'll show you, you can play a game. Click on Marvel Spider-Man. No, I don't want to update. Uh, let's just boot it up. So there we go. We're playing Spider-Man now. So you may be thinking, um, what what use of this is to me? You have to have two consoles to do this, you know. And you may be thinking, why can't I just put the PS4 game in the Xbox One and then and then it'll play? Um, and, and that's a good question. Um, the situation I think is best for this is, you know, so let's say you're bringing a friend over. You have an Xbox One. You have a PS4. And you want to play a trick on your friend, you want to tell your friend or show your friend that you can play PS4 games on the Xbox One. And even better, you want to show me that you can play Spider-Man on the Xbox One, which would be pretty pretty insane since Spider-Man is not even available for the Xbox One, so he knows you're not fooling him. Um, so basically what, we, what you would do is you'd have your Xbox One 
right up front in the little cubby right here like I do. You'd have your PS4 just, you know, sitting behind the TV or something, sitting in the back, somewhere you can't see it. And you turn on your Xbox One, you have your game already in the PS4. Um, you turn on the Xbox One, and then you go to that one guide, and then you've got your PS4 controller as well. But he has no idea you have a PS4. No idea. Um, and then you just start you start going going ham. And so all he sees is the Xbox One on, and he just sees this pop-up which is crazy you know he's gonna think that's absolutely insane um, so let, let's just kinda start f from what he would see and show you how how uh, crazy it's gonna look so let's go ahead and turn the Xbox off you've got your PS4 just sitting in the back you know um, it's got it's already got spider-man in it or you can you know it really would really fool him is you had two copies of spider-man I know it's a little bit extra but you have two copies of spider-man <laughs> You put one in your PS4 or your Xbox One right here, um, and then you boot it up and show them just working like that instead of just the copy from here. You know, that'd be crazy. Um, so basically, here's what he's going to do. You're, he's going to walk in, be like, all right, let's play some Spider-Man on Xbox One. He's going to be like, nah, you're, you're crazy. Um, there's no way we're playing Spider-Man for the PS4 on your Xbox One. And you'll be like, nah, nah, man, let's, let's do this. Um, so you've got... You've got one copy of Spider-Man on your PS4 already in. Um, you stick the other copy. Let's see. So you, you're on here, and you know you skip. You stick your other copy in right now, and you're like, "All right, dude, let's let's play Spider-Man." You click on this one guy. He has no idea what it is, um, but he thinks he's like, "Oh yeah, whatever. Let's let's click on it." There's no way you're just fooling me. Um, so you click on one guy. It'll pop up. So there it goes. So you clicked on one guy. It pops up. Here it is. You still see the Xbox. Um, the Xbox guide so he knows it's legit and now you just switch over to PS4 controller and start going to town start playing P start playing spider-man you know so personally I think it's pretty sweet um, another situation I think it's pretty cool is even if you don't want to fool a friend uh, this is a really easy way to be lazy so you know let's say you're sitting back on your couch you got your PS spot or, or you got your Xbox one and your PS4 and you know lots of day lots of times like look right here I got one remote um, I got some other remotes somewhere else, but I have basically three remotes that you have to use to change inputs and change change input, inputs on the TV, change inputs on the uh, Pioneer sound system. You know, it's a whole mess. So to make this really easy, you're just sitting on your couch. You got your two controllers. You turn them both on. Um, you get you're on your Xbox One. You know, you can play your Xbox One games if you want to. And then once you're tired of playing Xbox One, you just click on one guide. You have your PS4 on, and you're instantly playing PS4. Um, so you don't have to scroll through inputs and all that mess super easy Super useful actually. Um, it just lets you be lazier and lazier, which is that's what the world is all about nowadays Make everything automated. There's no need to get up from your chair and you know change inputs or anything like that Just make it all automated one device super simple super easy Thanks for watching guys. Hope you learned how to play ps4 games on your Xbox one It's pretty simple. Just need two consoles two two controllers and a game um I think a lot of people have PS4 and Xbox One, so it's, it's not going to be too difficult. But thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to check out the links in the description. Make sure to subscribe and like this video. And hope you guys have a great day.